Good morning everybody. Myself Dr. Tipe with Doswami. I have written book on personality development system. Today I am going to discuss about brain voice and mind games. So basically the brain voice and mind games just like when we play the football we need football for a uh, ball for playing football. Just like in cricket, we need ball for playing cricket. Like that, in the mind games, we need brain voice for playing the mind games. I repeat, just like in football, we need one ball for playing football and it has its own importance in football. We know that. And just like in hockey, we need one ball. Just like in uh, cricket, we need one ball. Similarly, while playing mind games, you need a brain voice. So now, what is this brain voice? See, especially this is the problem with the youngsters. See, I'm only worried of the young doctors, that to medicos, undergraduate students, postgraduate students, interns, and the newly joined doctors, residents. Because they face the problem in uh, managing the situations in hospitals, in casualties, and all. See, 99% of the conversation or the quarrel can just be controlled with your brain voice. Can just be controlled with your brain voice. Remember, there are studies which have been done for this, and they that shows that just with the brain voice you can control with the brain voice and facial expressions you can control whole of the situation, whole of the situation. So, what is this mind games? Mind games. See, this is problem comes to the young doctors who will be working in the casualty and the doctors who are will, will work working in the clinic also. See, we have seen so many doctors, even after taking the degrees, they are not good practitioners. This is the because of the lack of management skill. Remember this, you can control the situation only with your facial expression, only with your brain voice. Remember, Brain voice is uh, one of the, just like a cricket, we need one ball, just like in football, we need one ball, volleyball, we need one ball, without ball, you cannot play that, just like mind games also, we need a brain voice. So what exactly this brain voice? See, brain voice means the voice coming from the brain without any facial expression, without any movement of the mouth. It's a voice coming from you. You have seen in movies, you have seen in uh, some serials where their the characters have their own voice without any speaking they will have some voice that is brain voice okay very simple with the brain voice you can control the situation that is a very important thing which you have to remember this is problem with the angsters okay so what exactly this brain voice is so for example you with the brain voice see brain voice is some people say that it is real or virtual okay it can be there it cannot be there brain voice matlab whatever you speak in brain voice whatever you tr try to converse your conversation in the brain voice can be real or can be fake also then what, why do, why it is important it is important to control the situation with the brain voice so what is this mind game see this mind games mainly comes with the administrators and with the this, uh, the, when you want success, see this may, mainly when you are near the success, when you want the success, you need to know about these mind games. So very simple, what I am trying to say, just like a cell has a semi-permeable membrane, the cell wall, you should also have a membrane around your brain, such that which brain voice you need to take and which brain voice you need not to take. So how I can differentiate with this, these brain voices? So very simple. For that meditation. So doing the meditation in your brain voice. For example, I have already told so many shlokas. Nilanjana Samabharam, Ribiputram, Magdicham, Chaya, Martanda, Sambhutam, Tamna, Mahimshan, one or eight times you do in the, in the brain voice. In the, so that gives you the power. That the brain voice is a must. Okay. And you can see, uh, you can sing. Om Trimbakam Yajamahe Sugandhir Pushti Vardhanam Urvarikamikam Urvarukam Iva Bandhanath Mrityon Moksi Mama Amrutath So these are the shlokas you started start practicing them in your brain voice So many shlokas I have told so many 
ओके सो गजा से विज्ञाना जा लंबोदार आशीर्वाद मजा वक्र तुंड शुल्प प्रकरण खूब ज विनायक का विज्ञाना शा वी कहता वाम मन्ना सर्व देवता सर्वार्थ नाशन भगवान विज्ञाता धूम्र का सर्व देवा दी देवा ये कहते हैं तपाल चंद्रा गणेश वाला गणपति सो लाइकवाइज यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस इन यू विथ योर ब्रेन वॉइस दैट मींस यू हैव टू विथ योर इंटरनल वॉइस सम पीपल कॉल इट एज इंटरनल वॉइस व्हाटएवर आई एम स्पीकिंग इज एन एक्सटर्नल वॉइस एंड यू नीड यू हैव एन इंटरनल वॉइस दे से दैट वेदर फॉर एग्जांपल when the people are playing with you the main games mind games they will give you the brain voice which you accept they will study your situation they will study your brain they will study about you your past and everything they will study such that at that situation what is the voice you are going to take what is the matter you are going to take what is the things which you are going to take they will speak with you in your brain voice for example i'm uh, just for saying uh, for example if i'm a cricket player see i am good at playing uh, a straight drive just i'm giving you one example i am good at playing straight drive so in the brain voice they say that this ball is a straight ball it will be a straight drive it, such that you will do the straight drive but it will be it, the ball won't be a straight ball similarly why same thing you compare to your studies your practice so whichever things you are comfortable whichever things you are uh, good at doing they say in your brain voice and they confuse understood what is needed meditation so practice continuously half an hour one hour meditation you do don't uh, allow any of your other voices to enter your brain at least one hour in a day two hours in a day one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening you start practicing with your brain voice meditation brain voice with your voice or internal voice that gives you that uh, will power such that this voice these voices are not mine and you should be clear enough what to take and what not to take and what is your decision and if you take some decision you should be confident enough to fight you should be confident enough to face the consequences that's what they are trying to say so you should in the brain was very simple so no need to get confused no need to get worry no no need to become mad or something see brain the brain was they can give you the uh, clues they can give you the things such that you will take the brain was later they started giving you the things which you never uh, you never know it is there they give you false virtual things which are not real you will become a chief minister they say you will father politician who is a minister they say you will become a chief minister for mla who is want to become minister they say you will become a minister you do this that like that just politically for the uh, ms uh, general surgeon student bd student they say that if you practice this you will become a plastic surgeon so likewise so you should be confident enough you should have a clarity in yourself what exactly you are doing and what exactly you have to do and you should stand for your consequences you should stand for your decisions basically okay and do the things which makes you to which takes you towards which makes you happy and which takes you towards success okay so don't allow any of the bloody others brain voice or thoughts to enter into your brain the only medicine is do the meditation that too with your internal voice at least one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening that itself is a solution that itself is a solution i'm not going any detail about any psychiatric diseases or anything i according to me all doctors are very good and they don't have any psychiatric diseases so such that if they practice this they do med meditation in the morning one hour and the evening one hour meditation and they know how to manage the situation with their brain voices see that one more thing i just want to add see they know the how to manage with the brain voices they can be a good practitioners they can achieve the success see why i am doing this if all the doctors are mentally strong if all the doctors are doing good duties then where there is a scarcity for doctors where there is a charge scarcity for medical uh, health um, system so that's why so all doctors should be mentally strong enough all doctors should be able to manage the situation with their brain voice with their expressions don't be afraid be confident and do the things which makes you happy and which takes you to towards success so it's a mistakes will happen i'm saying no no one is perfect mistakes will happen but don't repeat the similar mistakes 
that's what i'm trying to say so be confident and work hard study learn the thing maximum possible from your side to learn maximum possible effort from your side maximum possible you can do from your side you do it definitely you will achieve success definitely and you should be confident enough and with the brain was what i'm trying to say uh, you should see when the casual in the casualty or there some patient has come you speak with him with your external voice also some of the things you can speak with the internal voice also for example what are those things? you give assurance everything you do and some of the problems for example so there can there are some problems which you cannot speak externally with your external voice you can say it in internal voice okay such that you can manage the situation okay you can manage the situation so one more rule remember in your casualties when whatever you are working whenever you are working you just need to treat the patient accordingly first you take the patient in treat give treatment whatever possible from your side for example in some respiratory distress patient you give oxygen or respiratory support and for other patients you give iv fluids depending upon the situation i'm not saying all the things uh, the experts are there we can they can explain you emergency medicine they can explain you better but what i'm trying to say such that people should know that you are doing something you have done something okay and you should do the sometimes see if you don't have any facility anything you need to act why i'm saying act means act in the situation you should show them that you are doing something you are working something and you uh, when when you are whenever you are explaining to the those uh, non medical people or some people you use medical languages or you say this is disease is called as road traffic accident or rta so like the so uh, you can you need to tell uh, yeah this is uh, this is a condition of um the um, uh uh some other serious condition whatever is there you use the medical terminology such that they won't understand those things but they will they came to know that you know something see only projection you have to give to them in the casualties is that you know them and you should be confident enough and you are doing something to the patient such that you are helping the patient these three things you should keep in your mind whenever you are working even in the clinics also when you are doing the clinical practice also so my point here is the brain voice is the key to mind games so i already told you so you need to do the meditation only medicine to this brain uh, the <coughs> mind games is do the meditation one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening to some dhyana some uh, dhyana something such that you should know that these are not my voices and you should not react for unnecessarily for all the brain voices suddenly no don't react don't react for any brain voices which are not related to you and don't allow any of the bloody nonsense and irrelevant brain voice to enter into your brain because you're strong enough you have taken a medical seat whatever may be the situation whatever may be the consequence you are working as a doctor you are in the casualty you are working as a doctor you are in the clinic you are a doctor so you should have a confidence and you should work but these are the basic things you should i just want to tell you so please do remember they play mind games with them this brain voice only so initially they say what are the things which you take they study you they observe you and they say the things whatever you uh, are well versed with later they start uh, saying the negative things such that you are afraid of doing your work so don't worry whatever may be the situation whatever may be the scenario be confident and try to face it they try to make you afraid by saying untoward incidents if this happens so don't try this like that so it give some people say extra with their external voice also when you are working when you are junior don't worry about it first uh, learn thoroughly then start practicing okay don't worry about those things don't worry about the bad thing if i do this something happens complication no can be there cannot be there you should work confidently okay that is the basic thing and basic motive which you have to remember when you are practicing and one more thing in the brain voice i just want to add see there are two things which you have to remember our left side brain has a visual cortex and the right side brain has a imaginary cortex imaginary cortex i mean cortex they say so very simple two things this is just i am saying one of the mind game especially for the administrators the leaders according to me all the doctors are leaders all the doctors are leaders whenever you are asking some question to the patient if he sees at his left side he is saying the truth 
if he sees at his right side then he is saying the imaginary things false things which he has created which he wants to say very simple thing whenever you are asking some question to the patient if he turns his eyes to the left he is saying the truth if he turns his eyes to the right he is saying false or he is saying some imaginary things imaginary things this you have to remember this is the basic rule in administration basic rule in mind games you can detect who is lying who is not lying that's it it's very important especially for the doctors who are practicing okay so these things you should remember there are so many which i have written in my book on personality development system please do read the uh, please do read the book on personality development system and these mind games are common see we are born with our happiness and as well as difficulties they will be there they are the part of our life why should we afraid of our difficulties why should we afraid of uh, the failures no problem you keep on trying working hard working hard give the maximum possible thing from your side you can give so that you can achieve the success work keep on working keep on reading okay keep on experimenting practicing then you will uh, it will help you thank you thank you so much myself dr tipper the swami i have written book on personality development system so everything is there in the book and this mind game you should remember brain voice and which brain voice you need to take sometimes and better what my see there are so many mind games playing around you just better don't take any brain was neglect just neglect it you are on i am saying if you neglect the unnecessary irrelevant brain was you are almost near the success remember this word if you neglect the unrelevant and uh, irritative brain voices in your life you are almost near the success so remember this word if you neglect the brain voices unrelated irritative brain voices you are almost near the success so please do understand what i am saying jai ganesh jai shri ram myself dr tipper rudhasamy i have written book on personality development system thank you